Hi, this is Lachmi Kantiwari. Welcome back to your new tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create a sinusoidal bar graph. Okay, so here I have uh, uh, an example. Okay, so if you open this uh, application, you can see it. Um, you know, the dynamically uh, with the animation, it is creating a bar graph. It's a bar graph actually, but in a sinusoidal shape, right? If you see it, okay, right? So, I have plotted it uh, for only 150 degree, but in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create it for 360 degree or more than, you know, uh, more than one cycles. That's the very simple. Okay, let's do this coding. So, first of all that, as usual, you need to set a gradle. So, inside a gradle, first, uh, you need to set a repository and then dependency, right? So, here is dependency, uh, you need to set a MP Android chart version 3.0.2. Okay, so it's depend on uh, you know the day when you are uh, seeing. So you may you know the MP Android chart library may get upgraded from version three to four. Okay, it's uh, depend on the time. Right, so this is done. Now let's uh, sync it. While syncing, let's close it. Okay, it will sync into a background. And now we need to come into activity main. Let's uh, get rid of this text view, and uh, let's make it as a linear layout. Okay, we can make it linear relative, it doesn't matter here actually. So, we need to first create here a bar chart, right. So, for a bar chart, let us uh, set its uh, width as a match parent and then a match parent and then we need to set here a ID and uh, let us set this ID to a chart one, right. So, everything is done here. Now, let us close this main activity XML also and uh, then we need to come here and we need to create here a chart object so that can be created using a private and then a bar chart and uh, we can see it as m chart sorry m chart okay and uh, apart from this uh, uh, i think uh, almost everything is done here now let's come to on create method Inside the on create method, uh, we need to first, uh, you know, we need to first get a reference for our uh, chart one. So that can be get into m chart is equal to a bar chart, okay, and then find v by id r dot id dot uh, dot chart one, okay. So we have got a reference for our chart from a XML file. Now let's set a few properties of our chart that can be set into m chart dot set draw bar side dot uh, set draw bar side make it a false that means we don't need a bar side and then m chart dot set draw value of a bar okay set draw value of a bar make it false that means there would not be any value above this bar okay. So apart from this, we need to set m chart dot get description dot set enable and make it also false. Okay, and uh, now let's make a maximum visible count to a sixty. Okay, so what we can do here? Uh, uh, okay, leave that uh, visible counts and the pinch zoom etc. Leave. We don't need those. Uh, things now let's uh, set m chart dot set draw grid background to false set draw grid background to false okay and apart from this let's uh, create a method for uh, setting this data okay so we can create a method here using a private and then a wired uh, set data okay and let's pass two value into our method uh, sorry one value in our methods that's the count that's mean number of points which we want to withdraw okay so that the int count okay and uh, now let's uh, create uh, here array list okay so the array list since it is a bar graph bar chart so we need here a bar entry Okay, so in bar entry, we need let's make it entry each equal to new then array list. Okay, now first of all that we need to create a random data here. So that's the int i equal to 0 and then i less than count and then i plus plus. 
right so now first of all that um, let's convert this i that's let's take it as a degree now we need to convert it into radians so make it uh, radians and then equal to uh, you know the type cast as a float sorry uh, type cast is as a float uh, math dot uh, two radians okay so here i pass i that's mean any you know i would be passed as a uh, i would be passed as a degree and it would be converted into radians now we need our sinusoidal value see here for drawing a sinusoidal value first of all that we need this interface so that's what i am creating there okay so float well equal to uh, float right so then math dot uh, sign here and uh, inside sign we need to pass here radians right okay perfect and now this is an our entries here it's a entries uh, add this value into our entry so you can add here using new bar entry so first we need x axis that is i and then we can set here value okay so we have uh, created our data randomly now let's uh, create a bar data set okay so bar data set is equal to set that's the only set one and uh, now we need to create our you know uh, set here so set equal to uh, new of course there would be a bar data set and now we need to pass here our entry edge and let's give its label there's a sinus uh, sinus bar chart okay now set uh, set dot set color uh, i would like to set some color uh, here so let's set that uh, cyan color okay uh, what we can do here uh, color dot there are a lot of colors any any color you can set let's set it magenta color okay so i love this magenta now let's create a bar data so we have created bar data set now we need to create a bar data that's very simple bar data data equal to you know a new bar data a new bar data and we need to pass here a set okay perfect so we have created our bar data now let's set a few uh, you know the properties of this bar data so first of all that set values uh, text size first of all that we need to set text uh, value size uh, sorry uh, i think we don't need text uh, value size so let's uh, uh, okay so let's uh, you know do, do, don't write that we need uh, you know we don't want to draw any value here so that could be done using data dot uh, you know the set draw values make it to a false and uh, then let's make a bar width to the 0 0.8 okay so data uh, what we can do here uh, data dot set bar width to 0 0.8 f okay now let's uh, set the value into our m chart so we can set using set data and then data right now we have created this set data now we need to call this set data from here so we can simply call it and we can give you know the angle for which we want to draw so let's first give a 180 degree okay no let's give it 360 degree okay so that is the degree actually so there would be a 360 you know the bar graph here so that would complete here a full sinusoidal functions if you see here i have created a value here right so save it and let's run it in meantime uh, i would like to tell few more things uh, we can also uh, set our axis etc here okay as i have set uh, uh, I have already set it into our example, right? So it's an installing application. Just wait for a few seconds; it will install and show you into a magenta color. Earlier it was a little bit red color, but now I have set it into magenta color. While it is up, uh, while it is uh, installing these applications, uh, we can make few changes. Okay? Yes, it has done. Right? See here, it's a beautiful. 
right don't you think here if you uh, you know see here it's a bar chart you know a bar chart into a sinusoidal function right it's a beautiful actually now what i can do uh, we can make it you know the fully filled color so if we change this uh, uh, 0 0.8 to let's make it directly 1 okay so if you make it 1 then you can see here it will be completely filled okay so installing just wait for yes see here how beautiful is this one it's a completely fill okay see now even uh, uh, if we change it to 2 multiplied by 360 that's the 2 time okay that's the 2 time see here it's a beautiful okay so the bar graph using our sinusoidal function has been created in this example and uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial you can subscribe this channel so that you can get uh, updates directly into your inbox i'll be doing more tutorials on mp android chart library so thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye